The continuous random variable x has a probability density function shown as uh, sh shown below. So we've got a graph of it here. So let's find the value of k. There's the value of k, and find the probability that x lies between 1.7 and 3.1. So we've got a probability distribution function. Let's just draw it in there. We know here that this area has to be equal to 1, and we know this distance here of the rectangle will be k minus 1.5 and this distance will be 0 0.5. So we're going to use that information to find the value of k. So for a probability density function, the shaded area is 1. k minus 1.5 times 0 0.5 is equal to 1. That's quite straightforward. Expanding the racket, 0 0.5k plus minus 0 0.7k is equal to 1. Add 0 0.575, we're going to get 0 0.5k is equal to 1.75. Dividing by 0 0.5, we get that k is equal to 3.5. Okay, and we can look at our GeoGebra plot again. I'll put this in the notes of the uh, video we got here. 1.5, 3.5, you'll probably have to change these sliders when you do it. OK, and we've got here that this value here is actually a half. Right, next we have to find the probability of being between 1.7 and 3.1. Well, we can find the length here. That's going to be about 3.1. That's going to be about 1.7. So we're going to do 3.1 minus 1.7 times the height, which is 0 0.5. That gives me the probability. So it's going to be 1.4 times 0 0.5 which is equal to 0 0.7. Go into the GeoGebra applet, and if you click to see the probability, and again, you will have to put this at 1.7, 3.1, you can see that the area here is 0 0.7. So you can use the GeoGebra applet to check almost any probability once you've set up the uniform distribution function. Okay, I hope you found this useful, and I We'll put the link of this uh, GeoGebra upload in the notes of the video, and I thank you very much for watching.